nice whitefall wolf here and uh, if you've been living under a rock um, <clears throat> you might not know that uh, the North American World Championship qualifier is going on right now I think they just entered day one uh, it's early morning here but uh, I guess it's uh, late night over there but um, they are actually doing some pretty good coverage on this so let's have a look at uh, round seven top tables update uh, here in round seven only the top 12 table are still undefeated and dragon rulers remain dominant here's the breakdown of the top 10 tables so there's 12 dragon rulers undefeated only four prophecy two evil swarms one constella and one antimatter and uh, angel Ascensio is playing dragon rulers versus prophecy and we have dragon rulers versus evil swarm i actually think dragon rulers won that match uh, it was featured so dragon rulers versus dragon rulers and pet hoban with dragon rulers versus prophecy Prophecy versus Dragon Rulers, Rulers versus Rulers, Rulers versus Rulers, and uh, Rulers versus Prophecy. Um, so I guess it's pretty much Rulers versus uh, Prophecy all the way around. A uh, Clash of the Titan matchup, like they call it. Uh, at the start of the, before the tournament went through, they... Uh, they did this catch to watch out for this weekend uh, Lightning Vortex and Last Day of Witch Light and Darkness Dragons and uh, then there's this card DNA Surgery Defender the Magical Knight and Gagaga Shield and Magical Mallet and Reload so what's so important with this is that uh, the Dragon Rulers versus Prophecy matchup has to improve all the time to come up with new ways. Uh, and with uh, all those hate cards against uh, Prophecy at the moment. Um, so Dragon Rulers have started to use Lightning Vortex and Last Day of Witch. Um, and um, Prophecy has uh, countered that by playing Defender the Magical Knight and Gagaga Shield. Um, since uh, Prophecy has gone away from using uh, High Priestess, more Dragon Rulers has probably started using Light and Darkness Dragon. And uh, then there's all the rest of the decks that, use, uh, that can use DNA Surgery. And uh, I'm gonna have a saying in this, because uh, yesterday at local, I played Prophecy, even though it's getting kind of boring, but uh, I went undefeated and won the local. We are not that many people because it's summer, so, um, but I did face uh, decent two good players uh, all day. Uh, we were 16, I think. Um, and in top four, I played against uh, Machina Gadgets with uh, Tin Goldfish and uh, he sided in DNA surgery calling machines. He actually started uh, game 3 with DNA surgery and Imperial Iron Wall on me um, and he called machines so a lot of my cards became dead but now I'm gonna have a thing in this and we're gonna look at a, an old card that might make the, a way into the side decks of the prophecy decks. Uh, it's Breaker the Magical Warrior. I sided him yesterday and uh, he was actually really, really good. Um, 1900 uh, beater that can destroy one uh, spell or trap card on the field and then goes to 1600. He's really, really good in the Evil Swarm matchup too because he. Uh, He's still stronger with the uh, Spellbook of Power to get over Ophian, either way if he did use his counter or not. Um, uh, 
Then I want to talk about this Defender the Magical Knight has uh, started to see a way in with the people going away from High Priestess uh, and then using more and more Star Halls. Uh, this guy is really really good against uh, when people use uh, Lightning Vortex and Last Day of Witch or Dark Hole. Um, I'm not so sure about Magical Mallet and Reload. Uh, I don't really like them. <clears throat> but uh, again, with Light and Darkness Dragon being a really, really pain, um, also because uh, uh, most Prophecy players has gone away from using High Priest, this, um, this could be a really, really killer. And that might be the uh, reason why there's so many dragons. And right now, and only four prophecy, because since there has been a lot, a lot of hate coming up against prophecy. Um, in my opinion, it is the best deck, but it's it's it is so uh, easy uh, to side against, um, and that's why it doesn't do so well. It's really, really easy to side against. Um, and uh, Evil Swarm that main decks, probably Imperial Isle Wall and Eradicator Virus and Deck Lockdowns. Same with uh, Constellas, they could main deck Deck Lockdown and whatnot. So, but uh, yeah, guys, I'll keep you uh, updated on this. Um, I'll see you later on.